time to start putting this thing together. Man, I can't wait to just crank it up, let it idle. It's gonna be sick. I'm so glad that that secondary came in. What is up guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to like and subscribe. So we're gonna jump right in, go ahead and install this radiator support and we'll go from there. We're gonna go ahead and remove our fenders that we just loosely put on there. It's holding on by like one or two bolts. Pop it off on both ends, put it in a safe spot because it is still fresh. That's like the whole half of the car right there, whole front end right there pretty much. All right, so he ran to pick up the stand that we left at the paint shop so we can set this fender on it because we don't have anywhere to set it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the daily dose of Thomas and Ginger, might as well. All right, so he's back with the stand there. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, so that way we don't damage it or scratch it or anything like that, because it is fresh, as I mentioned before. Before we work on anything under here, we're gonna go ahead and remove this hood and get it out of our way. All right, so the front end is exposed once again. All the parts are over there. This is gonna allow us to work with everything in the engine bay area. First things first, before we hop on to anything, we're gonna go ahead and sort out these wires, clip them in wherever they need to go, you know, route them up into their spots. I did take some pictures of the Z06 at the dealership, so I got really good reference, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug everything up. So the sun just broke through and uh, out of nowhere a million mosquitoes just popped up. So he's got the fogger and we're gonna get an awesome clickbait. No, I'm just kidding. We're just trying to get rid of all these mosquitoes, man. Cause there's like, I don't know where they came from. I guess as soon as the sun came out, like a bunch of them came to life or something. Hey, but that looks pretty cool. We also set that fender in the sunlight so it can cure, dry and bake in the sun get a lot harder on that clear coat make sure it's not soft as of right now we're just trying to get rid of some mosquitoes i believe we got rid of our mosquito issue and this stuff is great right here if any of y'all need some mosquito repellent for the whole property i don't know what this is called so this stuff right here just did not do the trick all right guys so now we're gonna screw on this radiator support it goes under the frame holds on by four bolts i'm gonna go ahead and fasten that up this is earth radio and now here's human on there really good so that's how the radiators sit they sit kind of like you know sideways a little bit slanted and then the secondary sits flat so that's all we're waiting on is a secondary radiator then we'll start piecing it together all right so we just got a call from our buddy steve at the dealership he said a few parts are in so we're gonna go there and on the way back we're actually gonna stop by the junkyard and we're gonna get this little corner crash piece right here that we haven't got yet it should be riveted on we're gonna get the drill drill it out and then we're also gonna look at all these wires here and try to get an idea of where they all go so we'll catch you guys there. All right guys, finally the secondary radiators here finally made it and we got our water pump and our water reservoir and we also grabbed some coolant. We're ready to start this sucker up. So next stop, junkyard. Here at the junkyard, we're about to take off some parts. We're gonna need this right here, this little, I think it's for your rebar, it's like a crash impact thing right here. So we're gonna drill it out, it's riveted in on one side. I'm gonna go ahead and just start. We 
just noticed something that we are gonna need. We don't have these little brackets which hold the fender. So we're gonna go ahead and take them bolts and that little metal bracket on each side here. We're gonna pop this hood and see if we got- uh, I need some of these bolts. Oh yeah, man, take all them. Taking all these little bolts and stuff. And score, another bolt. Set that right there. Yeah, so that's one of the uh, second reasons we came here is kind of see how all this wiring goes get a little better idea of what's going on I'll on the on, inside. I'll come and look from here first. We okay. need uh, all these for the grill. See that? Yep. We may need like all these little things right here. You see them? All right, so we're snagging a few more miscellaneous pieces here and there, some bolts. And uh, it's just random, pretty much just bolts. And that's about it. Took everything we needed. See if the hole's good. Yep. Oh yeah, good thing you remember that map sensor right there. Hopefully it works for us. So we're gonna test it out because we're probably gonna be cranking this car up today. Is that it? You took all the clips and stuff that we needed? Yeah, all them little clips and stuff off that little Where'd you put baffle. Them? I just set them on that pile. So you probably already oh, got them yeah. in the bag. For sure. All right guys, so we got what we needed. Got the toolbox packed up, you know, a bunch of little grommets, little bolts and stuff that we needed to put that cooling system together. So now we're going to head back to the house. All right, so we are back. We got plenty of goodies here. Man, I grab cannot wait. I'll grab this little box right here. I'm going to start putting this thing together. Man, I can't wait to just crank it up, let it idle. It's going to be sick. I'm so glad that that secondary came in. Yeah, so we're probably going to go ahead and set all the parts out here. Start piecing it together. For sure. We need to get like some big rivets. Oh yeah, we need to rivet that in. We got this huge pile of parts that we ordered. Everything is in, which we hope it is. So we're gonna start throwing it all on the car right now. Let's get to it. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is these little rubber grommets or Whatever you call them, that the radiator sits on top of. A lot of people don't think about ordering this, but if they're missing, you won't be able to put your radiator on it because they sit on it just like that. Uh -huh. Yep. Let's see how this goes on. That's pretty much what's gonna hold everything together there, like the radiator, the condenser, and the secondary radiator. Oh, we might have to cut them frame rails back off just to put the baffle in. There you go. I think. Aha! Special technique. And this goes on top. Come on. Right there. That's all nice. Right. And then it just bolts on right there. Three of them. Get some sunlight on Yep. The Keep pointing that towards the sun. It's already gotten a little bit filthy. Which is going to match the rest of the car. Alright, so now that we got the baffle in, which holds pretty much everything like I mentioned before. We're going to start taking everything out of the boxes. And just kind of setting, setting it out. Putting it on top of the box. It's just right here. Put it right here so we'll know. Because it does say what it's for, you know, just so we don't mix it up. Great idea. We're going to set everything up like that. Very good idea. All right, so we got everything unboxed and set on top of the boxes. Got the radiator and the fan. I haven't showed you guys that, but there it is. Got a bunch of wires that we're gonna have to distinguish while we're putting the car together. Intercooler, heat exchanger, and a bunch of AC lines, stuff like that. Radiator there, or not, it's a condenser. Radiator's back there. But he got the toolbox, and we're about ready to start piecing this thing together, man. Let's do it. I can't wait, man. Can't wait, super excited. And this box right here is the headlight, but we're gonna keep that closed because we don't need that for now. What you got there, the most important piece? That's the map sensor we're gonna, hopefully, I mean, it should clip in, clips in perfectly. I wonder if the the technology behind it or whatever. It's probably the same. Yep, should be. All right, moving on to the stuff that we got from the dealership. It should be a water reservoir and a water pump for the intercooler the heat exchanger so we haven't checked this out i want to go ahead and open it and check it out and get it all open uh, water reservoir i want to see what that pump looks like though man yeah, i want to see how this sits on the car it's really i'm really interested in how it sits on the car just crazy. right what about those oh, two i think it sits like this yeah exactly. perfect right there that's awesome how do you fill it up 
We we'll just have to just start putting stuff together and we'll find out as we go. Just figure it out. Let's open up this water yeah, pump. That's Maybe what you I'm... pour it through the water pump. You never know. Mm -hmm. Very expensive piece. Nice. And that sits on the completely opposite side. Like this. Cool, cool. Very it simple. connects straight to the intercooler on this side at the bottom of it. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Man, it's coming together, man. Yep. Yeah, that just putting that baffle in there already kind of. Now looking at the stuff, how this <laughs> all like goes together. Uh now I get an idea what's gonna go on first. The first thing that we're gonna put on is gonna be the secondary radiator that sits flat right here. Right. That's the first thing that we're gonna put on. And then after that, we're gonna pro we're gonna probably put on the uh, heat exchanger. And after the heat exchanger, the AC condenser. And then the, and then the radiator, radiator fans. And then that's how we're gonna piece it together from the front from the bottom. All the way to the back. Or yeah, from the bottom yeah. or the front. Yeah. Working our way backwards. We were waiting on this thing for a while. Finally it came in. That's one of the last pieces that we got from the dealership. This is what you need for all the newer 2017 and up Corvettes. I think all of them have them. Even the standard Even the regular non-supercharged ones have that. Yeah, they, I guess they just went ahead and started doing them on every vehicle. It screws on just like this. From the bottom? Yep. And then the lines, they go. All right, guys, so we're going to get the tent real quick. It's really hot. I'm sweating and it's humid. Let's grab it and throw it over the Corvette. Feels way better already. I just want to work on it more. <laughs> so as you guys know, this car was taken apart by the insurance company. Luckily, they left us the bolts, but no parts. They're suckers for that. But I'm going to go ahead and spill all this on the floor over here just so because we're going to be using most of these bolts and nuts. There's a bunch of them. We got a lot of extra from the junkyard, so we're good there. I'm just going to dump them and sort them out because I don't know where they go, but I'm going to slowly, you know, see which one screws into where and sort them out by color. Usually the black bolts and screws and stuff go at the top, you know, because they clean everything up. They're dress bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and dump them. So I'm going to sort all this out and I'm going to keep going. Alright guys, so we got all these bolts and nuts separated in their own little category. As you can see, there's a lot of each one, you know, we got a bunch of these, a bunch of these, and a bunch of these. So it's going to make it a lot easier to sort them out, see which one screws in, and you know, you got a good variety of them. Luckily, they left them all here, so let's get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this line in that goes to the secondary radiator. It should just snap in right there, and this one should just snap in just like that should be good from there we're gonna go ahead and screw on four four bolts one two three four right up under here just like that now is the heat exchanger I'm gonna go grab it All right, so the heat exchanger just slipped right in. OEM fit, looks good. Now time for this AC condenser. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on. I'm thinking this goes on before the radiator, so I'm gonna go test it. It clips on the other side of the radiator. That's what I think it does. That's how it is right there. Clips onto the back of that. Slowly set it down. See this little metal clip? Yeah, hey, luckily he picked that up. Now look at that, we're actually missing one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in. There it goes. Goes like that. Alright guys, so I found the exact position of the sensor. I'm just going ahead and tightening it up right now. It just goes on the back of that rebar. I didn't know how they went on. I thought it went on the baffle, but it actually goes on the frame. And I found out where it goes. And that is the airbag sensor, right? I think so. Accident, yeah. That's right. Yeah, sensor. there is an airbag on it, so that's probably it. Plug this one in. There it goes. Two big bolts. Right there. This other one is right here. Radiator 
hose next. Radiator. Bring hose. her in. This, this, and this. This all goes together. Wait, man, that's OEM stuff. I need there receipts. You go. Take that back. Throw that to the buyer. The buyer can watch the video. This is the little T fitting for the secondary radiator. It clips onto here, so it goes like this right here. And this T fitting goes just right here. Man, that's awesome, dude. You can actually buy a secondary radiator kit for your C7 that doesn't didn't come with one, which only the 17 and up came with the secondary radiator. So if you're having overheating issues, you might want to look into a kit. How much for this kit? 800 bucks. It was bucks. like 900. 900, but we got a deal on it. Right there, right there. Hey, plug and play, man. Plug and play. Plug and play. So, right there. Bam. We got cooling. Now I'm gonna plug these in. What is that? The actual secondary radiator. Oh, right there. Bam, bam. They just plug right in, don't they? Bam. Cha Ching. Just holds it. Cash money. It's all plugged in. Right there. But wait, there's more. Right there, just like that. Then uh, this goes in on the top over here. I'm gonna actually leave that off. You need to put the air box in first. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's do the intercooler lines first. All right. Yeah, the pump goes first, then the reservoir, and then the lines. Look at that. That's pretty cool. They expanded that and put this little tab. You just pull this out. Quick release right snap, there. I like that. It's OEM stuff right there. And From those. the pump all the way over here. Which one is it though? It's this one for sure. First one? Yeah, it's for sure that one. Because the second one, you remember I had this? Yep. See that one with that little knob on it? You can follow it, keeps going, it goes to the top clip. So this one with the knob on it that clips onto right here goes to this top one. It just snaps in like that. And then pop that one on. The last thing right there man Woo! it's getting exciting all right now the reservoir tank yeah but what about the lines that go into the reservoir tank guys we we're hoping to get this thing started today for you guys but but we went to putting this reservoir tank together and we figured out that we don't even have these lines to go into the other side of the heat exchanger so that sucks i thought we ordered them but we didn't we just ran to the dealership went ahead and threw an order on them real quick so we'll have them in in here by monday for you guys it's going to be a different day but it's going to be probably next video you're going to see this thing actually running might go for a test drive i don't know i'm not going to say i'm not going to say anything right now because there's still a lot of stuff to button up on this car we still got to put the airbox on which we're about to do we got to button up the fenders on here the headlights and uh you know line everything up body lines come next you know it's a lot of work still but we're going we're moving along progress is going pretty smoothly right now so let's get to it so we could finally secure this air box onto here tighten everything up and it's going to be on there for life oh yeah till the next owner decides to do something with it but yeah it's pretty much ready to get on there tightened up got everything else over here tightened up the lines the clamps all the sensors everything is clipped in we got some wires here for the headlights, but that sucks. That's the only thing that we're missing right there. All right, so the cold air intake is in and secure. Now to put on the fenders, we're putting on the fenders, right? Yeah, yeah. So to put on the fenders, we do got to remove this little cowl here that we installed. And the windshield wipers. And the windshield wipers. It, there's, there's a screw under there you got to screw the fender down to, so we're going to yep. remove all that real quick. We're going to take that off, and then we're going to reinstall it with the fenders. All right, guys, so we just set the fenders on there loosely. We're not gonna align any body gaps yet because we still need a few more pieces 
That way we can finalize everything and secure it for good. But for now we're gonna go ahead and throw on this piece right here. That's for the bumper, I think. And then also adjust the front fenders there. Corvettes, I think in general, have so much adjustment to them because of the way they're made out of fiberglass and carbon fiber. So every little thing can be adjusted. Like from even the front of these fenders, they got a bunch of adjustment right here. So oh, yeah. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing, but it's gonna, it's gonna take, take some time. Yeah, it's gonna take some time to adjust everything. It's gonna For definitely sure. take a few hours to do the adjustments. But other than that, everything's everything's here except for a few more hoses and yep. we're good. And a few more little side vents on the yep. fenders and then we're ready to go. But it matched up great. Very happy with the results. As you can see there. We're gonna test fit a headlight. Yeah, let's do that, let's do it. We just we, wanna test fit one. We'll give you guys a little sneak peek we're not just going to stop with the front end i know we do a lot of work in these videos but you know what you guys are going to see more no way dude this is going to be sick i just want to see how it goes on here very carefully go up with it be real careful there we go dang that looks sick dude i can't wait <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time i'm kind of seeing the, like the look of this front yep oh, it's good. coming together it's gonna be so sick man we just had it, the front end apart for so long that kind of don't know what the front end actually looks like i mean i've seen other corvettes at the dealership but like this, this one, one you know this one you've never seen the front end ever you're always looking at the 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 booty of the car now you're gonna look at the front end of the car yep know? we would be putting it all together if it wasn't for two little lines that are holding us back two which is, little lines and two air vents that go on the side of the fender exactly which yeah. we've got the carbon fiber ones they're on their way they're getting specially crafted yeah so, so it's gonna it take, take might take a minute but it don't matter i mean we got that one on might as well throw the other one on nice dude dang man might as well just slap on the front bumper cover might as well you know that's what just I'm leave it because i'm thinking uh we should leave it in the sun tomorrow let it bake yeah yeah look how the headlight has perfect lines i mean it's not screwed on but still it's, yeah look how nice Dude. that is that's what you get when you work with the dealership right there this is pretty much a dealership fixed car you know they actually tried to hire us the other day yeah it was like man we'll pay y'all 200 an hour and i'm like nah, no just throw that front bumper on. what's going on in his head right now he's I just he's thinking that let's clean all this up and slide it over here just to slide it Alrighty, you seen us package all them boxes into one box, got it all cleaned up. Guys, check this out. Thomas even came to check it out. What do you think of it, buddy? Is it approved? You approve of it? Pop that front bumper on just to kind of give it up, give us an idea of what it's gonna look like. Yeah, it's just sitting on there, you know, nothing is aligned now. I just I was just anxious to see what it would look like. I cannot wait. I can't believe it's already coming back together so soon, man. This know, is a man. quick build. Oh yeah, it's 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 a fun one. We still got a lot more to go. Yep. Uh, adjusting and then buffing this front bumper and the fenders and the whole entire car. Polishing the whole entire yeah, car. Polishing putting the interior together, man. We still got a good bit oh, to go, yeah. but hey it's coming together. it's coming together guys we're gonna be here before you know it man hey all i know is we ain't slacking we're not slacking we ain't slacking hard. paint matched up pretty dang good if you ask me it's look really at that dirty man it's been outside it's i cannot wait to get some carbon fiber on there a splitter so it doesn't look lifted i mean the car you see how lifted it is yeah i wonder why it's like that i guess it's probably because it haven't been driven in such a long time Alrighty guys, that is a wrap for today's video. A lot of progress. We got the cooling system completely together from the radiator to the condenser all the way to the intercooler other than two lines that go to the heat exchanger reservoir. So guys, if you haven't, be sure to turn on your post notifications because we got some awesome things on the way. Also guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram to get the inside scoop of something before YouTube. If you haven't copied some merch, be sure to copy something at goonsquad.com. Stuff is going quick, we're gonna sell out so you better get you something. So if you wanna support us and help our channel grow a lot faster, be sure to check us out on Patreon. The link will be down below. So guys, stay tuned and we'll catch you next time. Peace.